just crack this open and then I will continue from there. So it's very nicely packaged and it's only supposed to weigh about 20 pounds so I think I should be able to get this out of the box myself. I wanted to get this thing out. It's been sitting here in the box for a couple days and I really wanted to get this thing opened and try it out. And now it looks like there's screws so I didn't realize there was going to be putting together involved so uh, let's see what I can do. So there are the legs and apparently all I have to do is screw them on with three screws so I can go ahead and do that. And look at this, even the remote control came with two Duracell batteries so that's really awesome. So all that's really involved is sticking the little peg in the hole there and screwing in three screws. Okay, so there it is, all put together and in place. And there, it's hard to see in the sun, but there are the logs. And the nice feature about this one is it has, you can see even through the side, it has glass on the sides. And that's where the heat comes out. So I guess it sucks it in from the back and then it comes out this way. And it's supposed to be very efficient on electricity and it is supposed to be able to heat a space of a thousand square feet. So I'm just hoping that it works in here because we have tall ceilings and the heat tends to escape upstairs, up there to the second level. And it's always cold in this room so I wanted to see if maybe this could help. And plus the ambiance of the, I'm really looking forward to that. Because we don't have a fireplace. So there it is. So I don't know if this is easy to see or not, but these logs are plastic and they just appear to be glued in place. And this is a metal background. This casing. It's metal, I think. It feels very thin though, and it's very lightweight. I could easily pick this up and move it. Here are the touch controls. And there's the door. And it's a really pretty beveled glass look. So I can't wait to try it out tonight when it's dark in here and see the flame effect. And there it is. It's very warm. I can feel the air all the way over by the couch where I sit. And I really think I like it. Yep. Okay guys, maybe I'll turn this back on when it's fully dark out because right now it is still light. Well guys, here we are. It is night time and it's dark in my family room here and this is the glowing lights from the Duraflame heater. Um, we did have a little bit of a problem. Um, I had it on with the heater blowing and then I was in the kitchen using the microwave and the hand mixer making mashed potatoes and then I blew a breaker. So because this is a 1500 watt heater and I have a bunch of other things plugged into the outlet, um, it can't handle it. So right now I just have the heater off and I have the lights going just for the flame effect. It's not that cold out today, it's about, you know, upper 30s. I think it even might have gone into the 40s today. So I really didn't need the heater on. We had it set at 72 degrees and it was pretty cozy in here. You can feel it all the way by the couch. I think I mentioned that already. But so I think on, you know, really cold nights in here, I can have the heater running, but I just can't be cooking in the kitchen. And that's just what it's going to have to come to. So, um, Otherwise, I do just love this thing. It's a nice little addition to my family room for a nice 
cozy evening by the fire. So thanks guys, thanks for joining me and I hope you have a very nice evening.